What is going on guys? Today we found a 2020 Integra Cornerstone 45W with only 21,000 miles that just became available at the Motor Coach store in Bradenton, Florida for $377,777. And the MSRP on this coach was close to $750,000 new and current JD Power retail value is $463,000 and low retail value is gonna be in the 380s. So this coach is definitely priced to sell. And if you look at other cornerstones similar to it on the market, you will see that this coach is priced aggressively. And there's a lot of value in this coach being available at the Motor Coach store in Bradenton, Florida, where it is undergoing an in-depth PDI and detail process. Now, we try to get you guys a sneak preview of these coaches. So sometimes they haven't been fully detailed or PDI when we get them. But when you take delivery, you can rest assured that this coach has been gone through and you can even camp the night or camp several nights in the coach to make sure you understand how to operate all of the different systems and make sure that everything works. So you can expect a completely different experience than you would receive at a big box store when you purchase your coach from the motor coach store. So we've been seeing some really nice cornerstones come in. This is gonna be on the Spartan K3 chassis. It's got the Cummins X15 with 605 horsepower. And I love the Integra Cornerstone paint styling with the black, white, and red. More of an aggressive paint scheme. And then you'll notice the stainless strip down the side of the coach. And going into the bays, this bay is going to house the sewer hose. And then when we go into the plumbing bay. Everything is very simple. We have a nice spot for a paper towel holder, a nice little hose here to maybe wash the dog or rinse some stuff off before you go back into the coach. Nice to have this if you want to wash your hands. There's a little spot for soap out here after dumping your tanks. A water filter with easy access for switching that out. Our tank valves. This does have a macerator system. And then our city water connection. It does have a power hose reel but if for some reason this hose reel fails you could plumb a hose directly into your city water inlet and then our tank flush system and i love those chrome baggage door handles here's our power 50 amp cord reel and the aqua hot 450 surge guard power protection system the aqua hot fluid tank and this next bay is going to be a full pass through bay and just going into these bays i can tell how clean this coach is the carpet looks like there has not been very much stuff set on it in its life you can see the dirt devil central vac system is housed up there i like the positioning of this slide tray switch on the door and then if we need easier access for loading and unloading we can flip that down and these slide trays will go out both ways and we have another full pass through bay with a very large slide tray it's a lot of storage in this coach with these two full pass through bays. Again, all of this carpet looks like, you know, maybe a few things were set on here, but not a lot of wear and tear. And you'll notice the manual window awnings, the Girard awnings that go over the windows. There is a little rod to pull those down if you want to keep that sunlight out of your coach. And here we have more storage in the front bay, all lined with carpet again. Like I said, this coach has not been detailed, so it looks like it, those carpets do need to get cleaned a little bit. They may have stored a few things in this bay, but that just shows how clean those other carpets were in the other two bays. We do have the 365 Michelin tires up front, and this coach being on the Spartan K3 chassis with the 365s up front is gonna give it a very stable ride. I'm not seeing the date codes on these tires. Sometimes they're gonna be on the inside, but as soon as the Motor Coach store does a check-in sheet, they will post that to the motorcoachstore.com along with photographs, the videos. You'll be able to find date codes on tires, date codes on batteries, all of that important information. But we're always trying to get you guys a sneak preview and a first look at all of these coaches as soon as they come in. And keep in mind that it is a pretty extensive 
process for a technician to go through every little system on this coach and then write all that stuff down. And then that's gotta be transported over to the IT department where the IT department is then gonna get that information all listed. All of that information has gotta all be double checked and verified. So it is a pretty extensive process to properly list these coaches online. So I know a lot of you ask, you know, where's all that information? You want it all immediately, but the Motor Coach Store does have a lot of coaches. And when they do things the right way, it's gonna be very time consuming in that process. I love the headlights. I believe they call these C channel headlights that will illuminate at night. And then the Integra badge will be backlit as well. Very sleek design on the front of this coach. And then talking about those C channel headlights, I love the C channel tail lights as well. And this coach does have a 20,000 pound towing capacity. You can see that cornerstone badging on the mud flap and a very cool paint design and aggressive styling on the rear end of this coach. Now, to access the engine hatch, this is one of my favorite engine bay doors in the industry. I just press a button right here. We don't need to turn the engine on or anything. And that engine bay door will easily lift up, giving us access to the X15 Cummins with 605 horsepower. And you can see everything is very clean back here. We've got easy access to the chassis batteries, your fuel filter, and I believe this is your air dryer filter. Then you'll notice all of these different sensors as we go around the coach. That's a blind spot monitoring system. And then this is the other side of the plumbing bay that's gonna house the holding tanks. It's gonna have a 100 gallon fresh water tank, 62 gray and 41 black. And as you can see, you can gravity fill that tank if needed. And then we, here we have our inverter cutoffs, uh, Dirt Devil Central Vac, and then this bay is gonna be another full pass through bay with the power slide tray that will come out both ways like we saw that on the other side and that carpet is super clean on this side as well looks like it's barely been used and then i'll open this bay up too i don't know if you'll be able to see all of it at once just to show you you know with both of these bays out how much storage we have each tray has a thousand pound carrying capacity so you can really load some stuff up and then here we have an entertainment bay with a samsung tv bose soundbar and you'll notice that this door will swivel up to keep the glare of the sun off of the TV screen. And then we've got one more cargo bay up front here. And I do have to mention that there's a 12.5 Onan diesel generator up front, but it's getting a little warm out here in Florida right now. So we're gonna kick on the ACs, put the slide rooms out, and you guys are gonna wanna see inside of this coach. Integra did a great job with the finishes in this interior. I love this color of cabinets. I would describe them as having a grayish tone with a high gloss finish, but they still have some of those earth tones so it doesn't feel too sterile in this coach. And there is a TV on a televator across from the dual recliners. And to be fully transparent with you guys, I don't think that these are RV recliners. These are actually Lazy Boy recliners. This is a similar to the Lazy Boy my grandfather had about 20 or 30 years ago. Uh, an extremely comfortable chair, and these can be moved around, but I don't think these are factory. But I can vouch that these are excellent for taking a nap in. I think I've definitely had some uh, naps in some Lazy Boy recliners at some point. And this sofa will turn into sleeping. It does have the pull-out sleeper sofa. This is all villa furniture, except for the Lazy Boy recliners, of course. Uh, and then in the galley, we have this pull-out that will give us some extra countertop space. And this is a cool style countertop. I've seen a lot of different cornerstones, but this is a different style spec than some of the other coaches. And I really like what they did. We have the cooktop cover that matches the cabinets to cover up that Furion induction cooktop. And then there's a Whirlpool microwave convection oven. And if we want to store this cooktop cover out of the way, they've got that nice slot where that just fits in easily. We've got
got some good storage above the sink with the pull out trays and everything is in excellent condition that I'm seeing. These carpets are like the bay carpets were. It looks like there has not been a lot of use in this coach. Here we have more storage lined with carpet and quite a few remotes come with this coach, but it's nice to know that those are all in one place. I love all of the indirect lighting that Integra does below the countertops. You're gonna see multiple levels of countertops and a very cool backsplash. We've got a large drawer for silverware, and then it does have the dishwasher where we give it three knocks, and that will release that. This is the Fisher Paykel dishwasher, and then some good drawer space over here. And this is gonna have the silverware divider in it, lots of little high-end touches like that in the cornerstone. And then you can see this mechanism slides to maximize storage in this drawer. And then over here, we've got a, a spot for maybe spices or smaller items with an outlet below. So over here, we've got the dinette. This does extend out if you wanna bring out the additional chairs. And these chairs have a very high-end look to them. The design even on the back of the chair with this studded border. Very cool look. Now I do have to point out one minor flaw. I am noticing this is a pre-owned coach and on this dinette chair there is a small gouge and what I'm gonna do, you know, they left it out but if this were my coach, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put this chair over here flip these around. There's a small gouge on this uh, dinette chair here as well. We're being transparent with you guys though. So a couple small uh, gouges on the right sides of both of these dinette chairs. But those are very hard to notice, but I am a detail guy. So I'm a stickler for all of that little stuff. Now you will notice more indirect lighting and then some storage above the dinette. Again, all lined with carpet and very clean. It looks like there's never been anything stored in these cabinets. And then we also have some drawer space next to the dinette and some more storage below. And a lot of folks will use this as an office area uh, with all of this extra countertop space. So in the cockpit area, we have huge screens. And here we're showing the 360 camera, the rear view camera. We can toggle two different cameras and then very large display for the radio. We can switch that over to the navigation and then we can look at the different sides of the camera angles as well. So here, you know, we can look at the left side of the coach, right side, back, front, both sides of the coach, triple display with left and right and rear of the coach. Here we have four-way display, so we're seeing all sides of the coach. And this is cool that it's showing on both monitors. We've got a lot going on. And then here we can see the 360 display. See, that's very user-friendly. And then again, simple AC controls, cup holders, USB ports, the Allison 4000 transmission. So pairing that with that X15 Cummins, this is a beast. And this is a pretty light coach for all of that power. So it really gets up and goes. We have simple cruise control settings on the steering wheel, wood grain steering wheel, headlight displays. We can toggle the steering wheel and control the windshield wipers. And then your passenger also has a very large, comfortable recliner, again, with a cup holder and USB ports. Now coming back into the coach area, this is a bath and a half coach. So we've got the Whirlpool residential refrigerator with a water and ice dispenser, and then some nice storage. And then before we go into the half bath, I have to point out we have central vac, and these are beautiful tile floors as well. And on this panel, this is very user friendly. And right now it's giving us a warning that our fresh water is below the 5% tank capacity, so there's no fresh water in this coach. We can control the day and night shades, climate control, lighting, and if you look closely here, you can see we can control each individual lights. If we go to the shades, we can control the different zones of shades. We've got the triple zone climate control with floor heating as well. Monitor all of your systems. Very nice to have that user-friendly panel. And this is a bath and a half coach so very popular floor plan. We've got a Tecma toilet, the same style cabinets and countertops that we've seen through the coach. And the half bathroom does have a vent with a fan with this nice wood piece and then some storage overhead. 
And you can see we've got the good stuff in here, liquefied RV toilet treatment. Our good friend Matt's RV Reviews is giving away 10,000 bottles. You just have to pay $5.99 for the shipping. We're really excited for Matt. We'll leave a link in the description below to get a free bottle of liquefied. Now coming back into the rear of the coach, if we want to divide the coach, it does have these nice sliding doors. And when we open these up, there is a very large entryway coming into the rear bedroom and I believe this is a king size bed very cool style headboard with a button tuft windows on both sides of the bed and then some good storage above all lined with carpet and then nice outlets and USB ports and countertop space on both sides of the bed and something really cool that Integra does is we have the TV here that appears to be like a fixed TV and then this is almost like a secret compartment back here here with the safe hidden back here making it harder to get to and then a spot to store some of your AV equipment. Always nice to have a little secret compartment with a safe to uh, keep your valuables tucked away. And then we've got more countertop space with drawers. Again, that indirect lighting. And these are good sized drawers here. You could store quite a bit of stuff and more storage next to the TV. Again, I don't think anything has been really stored inside of these cabinets. It looks like this coach has gotten very little use. And I've got to point out the ceiling fan. I like having a ceiling fan to keep that fresh air going and I'm six too. a lot of the motorhomes I've got to duck my head not the case in this Integra Cornerstone it's got that profile where it's tucked close to the ceiling keeping it out of the way now heading into the rear bathroom back here we do have a small step up but the same beautiful white tile floors coming into the rear bathroom you'll notice a very large shower over here with a teak seat and a skylight in the shower gives us some more headroom and beautiful tile work in the shower Shower. We have dual shower heads and plenty of room in here. And even when I you know, put the seat down, I still have quite a lot of room, but nice to have a spot to uh, sit down while you're taking a shower. And then across from the shower, we have a Whirlpool washer and dryer. And this sink is really catching my attention. I believe I've seen this style of sink in some of the $2.5 million Newell coaches. Looks like a glass bowl sink and another cool style backsplash and those same countertops we've seen throughout the coach. And I like the way they broke everything up with the two-tone in the bathroom with the white cabinets back here. And then we have a very large medicine cabinet. I mean, that carpet is in excellent condition. I'm not seeing any toothpaste stains. I'm surprised this coach has 21 thousand miles on it I would uh, assume that it was used for maybe short trips or something but definitely don't think there was any full-time use or anything like that in this coach then we've got a huge closet across the back of the coach I like these closet doors with a wood inlay to break up those mirrors and then back here we have a lot of dividers and I don't know if this was done it looks like it was done aftermarket and it was done very well, which I'm surprised with as little use as it seems this coach has gotten to see that an owner really spent some time on this coach. It's all a cedar line closet and you can see that down lid hanging bar. We've got lots of storage here and you can see the owner's manuals tucked back there. And then another vent with a fan and a spot to store some TP behind your head there. And a good amount of room around this Tecmo toilet. I know our buddy Matt with Matt's RV Review definitely gave this a pass on the toilet test. This coach is currently available for $377,777 at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida. And they also have a few other cornerstones that are rolling in. We try to get everything filmed, but a lot of times they do get sold before we can get our cameras on them. But if you are a serious and qualified buyer, you can contact the team at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida. You can get their information at themotorcoachstore.com. Thanks to all of you that are subscribing. We hope you're all having a great day.